Tell me, it's, it's funny when people ask me for um, like horrible, like set stories, like crazy set stories, it's always about the location. Like some disaster happens with the location. So okay. do you have any like location nightmare no, stories? No, knock on wood. Oh. Um, I've been very lucky. Yeah. Um, like a location disaster, like, like I've heard. Okay, yes, I've heard like – like would the, you like a location like disaster the kid story? comes home or something like that <laughs> like I have heard like they the, like the babysitter came home early with the toddler and like <laughs> yes give me a give me your your favorite location um, disaster let's see story. I got a couple of location disaster stories so let's see oh my favorite one is I was shooting Celeste Star and Lux Cassidy from my website and I don't know if you remember this but there was this house in the valley which was it was off of like Morning wood is not the right word, but it was something, <laughs> morning something or wood something. I don't know. Okay. It was like in Sherman Oaks. It was beautiful. It had okay. an indoor pool. It I was don't like remember absolutely ever a house stunning. with an indoor, an indoor pool. So I shot there once a while back for Digital Playground. Okay. And I didn't get a permit like sure. most people don't. Sure. And uh, I guess Digital Playground had been shooting there. Like I was just shooting pictures. I was shooting yeah. for magazines back then. And I guess Digital Playground had been shooting a bunch of movies there like okay. all week and like taking up all the parking and being loud and, being and obnoxious, obnoxious and not and being the polite to the neighbors and the neighbors were pissed. called. So the day that I happened to be shooting there, the neighbors called the cops. Yep. They came in yep. and they said, do you have a permit? And I was yep. like, what's the well, permit? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they, they shut down the shoot. Yeah. So then the house ended up like changing hands there was like a different person living there and then a different location agent came to me with the property saying okay. hey this is available, available. for rent sure. and I was like oh my god I love this house yeah I I'm had so a problem excited. there it's, yeah once with the with the um with the neighbors and not having a permit so I'm gonna pull a permit if I'm okay. gonna shoot there okay because it was really stunning and he sure. was like okay so I pulled a permit yeah. I paid the money I yeah the you did the thing did all the thing so we were shooting there on a Friday and then again on a Monday. Okay. So the guy who was living there, who I thought was the owner, yeah. um, but I found out later what was wrong, mm -hmm. was an NBA player for like Kentucky or something like that. Okay. I don't know. Anyways. I, yeah. So he was this NBA player and he was there on Friday and we shot there Friday. Everything went great. No problems. Okay. And he was like, okay, um, I'm leaving this weekend to go play somewhere whatever yeah uh so i'm gonna like leave the key with the location agent you guys just let yourself in on monday and go ahead and not shoot on monday like this was kind okay. of like organized with the location that agent seems fine seems fine that right it's fine so we come back monday <clears throat> so first of all we get there and i guess like he'd let his friends like throw a party there over the weekend that is exactly where i thought you might be going with this story <laughs> no but it, it also gets worse okay. like other things happen after that okay so I get there and there's just like people crashed out all over the house, oh, like sleeping God. on couches. Like there's rails of Coke everywhere. Oh there's God. like fucking empty <laughs> vodka bottles, like people uh. like sleeping in the bed. I mean, so I have to go like wake all these like big dudes up and be like, excuse me, Sorry, you need I'm to leave. I'm to shooting here. a porn here today. And so it takes me like an hour to kick everyone out of the house. <laughs> and then I had to also clean up. Yeah. So then we finally start shooting and this random guy walks in with like this old Persian couple. And I'm like, who are you? And he's like, who are you? And I'm like, well, I'm renting this space. And he was like, from who? And of course this like couple's yeah. like, what's going, what's going on? on? Yeah. Um, and so he's like, well, I'm the realtor and this house is on the market. And the owner had me come show this place today. And I was like, well, I don't know anything uh, about yeah. that because I rented it from so-and-so. And he's like, that I, is not the owner. He's like a temporary oh renter. Oh, God. And I was <laughs> Had like- Had been listing it with a proper location agent. Right. This guy was super shady, by the way. Yeah. So um, so he's like, okay, well, I'm going to call. He's like, do you have- I'm like, I have a permit. Yeah. Look, I have a permit. Well, yeah. Look, it's legit. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and he's like, well, do you have a contract with the owner? And I was like- well, no, because I thought this person with was this the, person who has been saying that he is the person. So they call that the guy and he denies knowing who I am <gasps> or how I got there. He says he has no knowledge of who I am. He's never heard of me before. And oh, my God. Yeah. So they call. Were the, you doing a feature? No, thank God. OK. So they call the cops on me. 
for trespassing. Oh my God. And they're like, we're going to have you arrested. I'm like, but I but have like a you permit. You pulled a permit on a property. While you were telling this story, I remembered a location horror story that I have had that I blocked out because it's more funny than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> but like, was this, was this a house? No, you, this was in Sherman Oaks. Mm-hmm. And I so, feel like so many problems happen with houses in the hills. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, they called the cops. Yeah. I packed my van faster than, than ever, you could yeah. fucking imagine. And we yeah. got the fuck out yep, of there. Run away. <laughs> run oh my God, away. I ran away so fast. Run away. I Yes. I have been on, on sets as a performer multiple times where the cops have been called. Mm-hmm. I hid in the bathroom once. Like we had like the knock, knock, knock on the door like while sex was happening. Oh, yeah. And we're like ever like. And it's always in the bathroom. Oh yeah, it's don't Don't answer answer the the door. door. Go hide. Go hide in the bathroom. Like we hid. Me and the. It was a boy girl girl scene. We hid in the bathroom. (laughs) We like didn't have our fucking clothes because we were in the middle of sex. (sighs) I felt the male talent is like my penis, (laughs) and we were just like so flipped out and like we had been there all day and like we had like ten minutes left to shoot. (sighs) The cops eventually left that, like, they walked around with their flashlights and we didn't open the door, so they left and we yeah. finished this scene. But, like, I have had issues with neighbors. Yeah. And, like, a crazy neighbor. And I guess a, a house that I had rented that, like, had previously had some porn shot there and also, like, the homeowner was really creepy and I would never mm-hmm. go back there. Like, he touched my butt at one point. Oh, God. And, like, was, like, at one point we were, like, it's a closed set. Goodbye. I hate having to tell And we that. had to like remove him from the property because he was being, he was making my performers uncomfortable. Yeah. But the neighbor there like got home and was belligerent drunk oh. as we were wrapping out and was like, I'm telling the homeowner that you guys are sh-. And we weren't shooting sex at this house. Oh, wow. Was it just dialogue? It was just dialogue. It was for season one of primary. It was just okay. dialogue. So we had pulled a permit. But we had maybe omitted, like, what, you know, when you pull a permit and everything but, about But here's but the like, thing. Like, we, on the so permit, like, it asks about, like, nudity and sex. Yeah, You're not shooting that. I wasn't so shooting it. Why does it matter? So we were like, we're not. And he was like, all those fucking whore. And was just like, like, threw a, a beer bottle, like, at my at my production designer, who I was like, do not go fight. Oh, no. No fighting. No fighting. Do not go fight. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, and then we had to go back the next day. And, like, we went back the next day and we shot. And also, but also, like, this guy, like, it was like midnight. He came home in an Uber, like, was so drunk that, like, as the Uber was coming back down the hill, because had to, like, go up to make a U turn to mm-hmm. come back, like, we, the Uber driver was like, I'm sorry. He's really, really wasted. And we're like, no, we're really sorry that you had to drive him home. Yeah. So it was just, but, like, I just wouldn't go shoot that house again. Yeah. But, like, I've never, I've never knock on wood lost my day. Yeah. I've lost my day for other reasons. Right. I've had talent like morning of and stuff like that and like have lost my day. Everyone's had that. But I have never because of a location. Yeah. Knock on wood because it's going to happen. It's this is not an if but this is a when this happens like knock on wood. And again like that's another amazing thing about working for Erica is that like she gets it. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I'm going to a company and being like I lost my day and I got to pay kill fees and they're like, sucks to be you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's so helpful to have somebody who's actually a director yeah. um, kind of in charge of production. Because you're right. They get yeah, it. Gets like, it. Yeah. And when I have lost days and had to like pick days back up have always been incredibly accommodating. Yeah. That's so important. <laughs> 